This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. All right, working within the viewports. The viewports, again, are the quad view system that we have right here. There's a bunch of different things that we can do with the viewports. So if I want my perspective view much larger, I click and drag to do that. If I want to reset, I can right click in there and hit reset layout and it'll put it back where it was. Again, I also have the view cube that I can use to navigate around any view. The home button, when I get over there, will put the viewport back to where it was. Now, personally, I don't use the view cube a whole lot. I like the keyboard method well, along with the mouse in order to navigate my views. If I hold down the Alt key and the wheel button, or the wheel as a button, then I'm doing the same thing as grabbing and dragging around in that view cube. To me, it's faster than always moving over to the corner of the view. So I like that methodology. Now, the wheel as a button all by itself without the Alt key is the pan hand, which is also located down here and does the same thing. Also in this area, I have alternatives to using the view cube as well. So right over here, I also have orbit, which allows me to click and drag and move around within that area. On the outside of that orbit circle, I have the ability to rotate the view. Hanging down here, I also have ways to orbit my view around an object that's selected and a sub-object that's selected. I have the ability to zoom all of my windows at the same time. Let's say we have an object in here. I have the ability to zoom to the selected object. I have the ability to zoom all of my windows to the selected object. If we have, let's zoom out a bit in the top view, and I can zoom in and out using the wheel, and by scrolling the wheel, I will zoom in and out of my view as well. So I have multiple objects in my scene over here, but I can't see it over here in my perspective view. So if I right click to highlight my perspective view, I can hit the zoom extents button to all, and it will zoom extends to all of my objects in all of my viewports. Again, that works for individual viewports as well. So if I can't see anything, I can use zoom extends on the selected window, and it'll zoom extends to both objects. Now if I click and hold on that, and I change my zoom extends to the selected object, it'll just zoom to the selected object. All right, I also have right here, zoom in and out and a field of view. So field of view basically zooms in and out without physically changing my position where I'm standing. I just widen the area that I can see. So those are some pretty basic ways to navigate your viewports in Macs.